What I usually do to uh, the beats, sounds in my uh, tracks, the kick and claps and uh, snares and percussion, is send them all to a bus and compress it. I use a compressor on a bus. That's a very easy way to glue them all together, get some more excitement in there. And maybe it's redundant, but I'm going to show you how I used to do that anyway. Just go to the mixer and select my beats tracks. And then go to the output menu and select a bus there. Maybe let's say uh, bus number eight. Then there's the bus created, aux number seven, call it beats. And then from the dynamic menu, just uh, pick the compressor. For this purpose, I like the Studio VCA, classic bus compressor. This is a great way, especially in our style of music, to glue all your beat sounds together, make them sound like one solid block. But you tend to lose a little bit of the dynamics, of course. And what I like doing in this case is use parallel compression. And the fastest and easiest way to do that is, of course, use the features in the hidden menu in the compressor. If I click the triangle and all these extra options open for the compressor and one of these is the output mix and this might just be what we need because parallel compression is mixing a compressed signal with an uncompressed signal so you're making a blend of a very hyped sound the compressed sound and the other sound being left alone no compression at all and doing that can create a very hyped but still very natural sounding track it's an old track and a lot of people perceive this as sounding very pleasant. Now the output mix in the compressor is in percentage. It's now on 100%. This means all compressed sound. Whatever the compressor is doing is what you're hearing. What you see is what you get. Let's have a listen. Right, very nice. But all you need to do now to get a little parallel compression is go to the output mix and lower the percentage a bit. Okay, so 40% of what we're hearing is uncompressed signal now. This here is uncompressed. This is all the way compressed. And anything in between is parallel compression. Yeah, I think that's quite a difference. So we've got best of both worlds now. We've got 40% uncompressed signal. And that keeps it sounding nice and natural. Now, there is another way of doing this, and that is to leave the output mix on 100%. We can close up the hidden menu. And what a lot of people still do is instead of uh, sending the entire uh, output of these channels to the bus, which we did just now, is to just take them and send the output of every track to the stereo output as usual and instead use a send to send them to the beats bus it's very easy to create a send for each selected track at once and i hope apple is watching because i used to be able to just option click the sends to to send them all at zero db to the bus but now doesn't seem to be working properly so I'll fix that quickly. There you go. And what we have now is the same principle, but we have this fader to mix in the compressed signal. And that gives us a little more flexibility, which I'll get to in a moment. So this is uncompressed. And that's only compressed. And there is a blend of the two. So why would this give you more flexibility? Well, for instance, a classic New York compression trick is to EQ the compressed signal first. Let me just quickly see where my EQ is. It's now the second plugin.
Maybe you want to put the compressor behind the EQ. So that's what I mean with more flexibility. You could put an EQ behind the compressor or the other way around. This is kind of dry. And that's a lot more exciting. So that's it, parallel compression.